Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, today we're going to have a few videos, quite a few videos probably uh, mixed in with other content but that will deal with Google Chrome and some of the things that Google Chrome could be uh, some of the features, some of the settings that could be interesting to know more about for users. Google Chrome being the big browser, more than 70% uh, of everybody out there on the internet is using this browser. I think learning more about how it works and learning more about things you could do on uh, different fronts, including your privacy, security, and so on, is a, probably a good idea. Of course, I will be doing a playlist. So the playlist will be Google Chrome browser. And all the videos I will be posting about Google Chrome uh, from now on, actually, will all go in that playlist so that if you wish to um, you know, click a video and just let the autoplay of the playlist go through to uh, help you out, well, it's going to be easier for all of you. So um, there's going to be a playlist for Google Chrome browser. Now, uh, the first uh, thing we're going to look at today is concerning third-party cookies and uh, the information that uh, can be tracked. There's a lot of tracking going on on the Internet. We know that. And one of the things that you could do to mitigate or limit that is, of course, to know how to uh, check the settings in your Google Chrome browser. So just go to your browser, Google Chrome browser. Go into the upper right corner in the three uh, vertical dots. Go down to settings. Once you're in the settings, you will go on the left side into privacy and security and go down to privacy and security tab. Now you will see something called cookies and other site data. So you can click here. In here, you will have um, different types of options for cookies. Now, I always say that cookies are not as bad as you know they seem. A lot of people uh, mix in cookies and, and, and malware. Um, it, no, it, it's not the case. Cookies are actually an essential part of web browsing because they keep information about you that means that you don't have to you know fill in or uh, re-select certain options and websites it remembers that for you so there's a usefulness in cookies but cookies are also being used to snoop on you and track what you do so what you could do is there are different settings that you can check and one of them by default is allow all cookies. So this is the default of Google Chrome. It means that every website that you go to, cookies will be actually saved. And of course, all the information that they contain, which typically goes about your habits of browsing and uh, where you go to on the web is in there. But you can actually um, check out different options. So. Another option is, of course, if you use incognito mode, you can block third-party cookies in the incognito mode. Incognito mode is a kind of a private browsing mode, which doesn't necessarily keep uh, information about where you went. So if you want to go and uh, search the web or go into websites that you don't want others to know, well, you use incognito mode because once you remove that mode, uh, things are not logged in to your browser. Block third-party cookies. So um, what happens is that you have different types of cookies and some of the cookies are from the website itself. So if you go to um, you know, space.com, well, you'll have the cookies from the website itself with its own um, you know, information. But sometimes because of the ads on the, on the page or because of more information or where you click, there's also what we call third-party cookies. Third-party cookies are cookies from a site that's external to the website you went to. So, for example, if we go to space.com and you click on something or maybe click on a link, you might have had third-party cookies registering. These are from outside the space.com website. And that means that you can actually... Um, take that information and um, you know remove or prevent that from happening. So it's limiting the amount of tracking that cookies do. So you can block third-party cookies if you want. 
You can block all cookies, but that's not recommended. And one of the reasons it's not recommended is because of the fact that a lot of websites do not work if you block them. And a lot of websites, you'll have to re-enter tons of information about yourself every time you go to because it's not going to remember your information. So that's important to actually understand um, all the information there. One thing that uh, also is available, so I keep it at allow all cookies because I don't really care, but it depends on you. Some, you know, some of you might find that it's important to limit the information out there. Um, you can use a little slide here that says clear cookies inside data when you quit Chrome. Once again, it uh, looks like a good idea when you think about it. Remember that if you clear the cookies and the information, uh, you will have, of course, to re-enter information on many websites that you go to. The do not track request, this is an optional uh, request for most websites. That means that if you ask not to be tracked, some, some websites do actually, um, you know, use that and will we'll keep your um, session private and will stop tracking. But most websites just ignore this flag, actually. So these are information to know um, that you actually um, can play with for cookies and, and data uh, from third party, um, you know, cookies also. So this is one of the options for privacy and security, and we're going to check more about that, and we're going to check other uh, options in Google Chrome as the day goes by. And, of course, with any other information that's available, we'll be talking about that. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.